Hi guys, good evening, welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and super freaking awesome episode of Star Trek Picard, which dropped this past Thursday. I've had a very busy week and weekend, and I finally got a chance to watch it, so I do apologize for the delay in uploading this, but oh my god, what an episode that was. So much to talk about! Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned, this is a spoiler-filled review. So if you're not caught up on Picard by the most recent episode, which is episode 9, you do not want to keep watching or listening, as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. So uh, let's get right back into it. I would call this an answers episode, not necessarily an exposition episode, but we finally got some answers. We got answers with what is it going on with Jack, why he is the way he is, and what the overall plan of the Changelings and their secret ally, the Borg, are. A deadly alliance was revealed in this episode between the Changelings and the Borg. You take the two arguably greatest and most feared enemies of the Federation or of the entire Alpha Quadrant, and you have them team up to be an un presumably unstoppable force against the Federation. Good luck, Federation. That was a great reveal. I thoroughly enjoyed that very much. Because at first I thought, oh, well, maybe the Borg or the Changelings are in competition with one another, or maybe they both want Jack for different reasons. No. The Changelings infiltrate Starfleet so they can insert this Borg altered genetic DNA or code and so that way when people are scanned onto a starship when they're scanning and looking for changelings they are unknowingly scanning it was a little confusing but basically they uploaded this this genetic code this genetic code which basically um was allowed to fester and grow within um, organic beings, in this case, fairly young Starfleet officers, because apparently if you're under 25, that's, you're susceptible to it or something like that. But, uh, you know, once the transmitter goes out and the transmitter being Jack, uh, they were able to make them turn whenever they wanted them to. And of course, it was during Frontier Day. So now the Borg have finally, or are about to achieve what they've always wanted to, to achieve the assimilation of earth if not the destruction of earth or as they called it sector 001 is it 001 or 001 yeah it doesn't matter earth <clears throat> so now with that awesome reveal out of the way we got a pretty great episode we got a pretty fantastic episode we saw some action we saw some great character stuff really felt for Jordy when he realized his daughters were in danger of turning and certain and they sure did uh, it's great that all the principal actors uh, made it out of this one, except for, of course, Tear, poor Captain Shaw, who gave his life so they could all get away. And I also love how with his dying breath, he turned command over to Seven and then finally addressed her as Seven, like he should have been doing as a matter, as a sign of respect throughout the whole season. But he finally did it with his dying breath, which was great. Uh, so that was a nice touch. And uh, I'm just glad we finally got some answers with what was going on with Jack, why he is the way he is, how Picard apparently never had that life-threatening condition. It was just a side effect of being um, assimilated by the Borg, and he unknowingly passed that on to Jack, and Jack was like the next stage of evolution for Borg biotechnology, and that made him like a receiver or a transmitter for the Borg, and that's how they were able to use him to activate the Borg code in all the Starfleet officers who were infected with it and then the assimilation of Starfleet which will would then lead to the assimilation if not destruction of Earth and it was so great as a short list as short as it was to see Commander I mean Admiral Shelby again after all these years played by the same actress from the fantastic two-part episode Best of Both Worlds 
in which she plays the young Starfleet officer who's gunning for Riker's position on the Enterprise. And um, I can't remember the name of the actress, but she did a great job playing Shelby again after all these years. Although before the connection was lost, it appeared that she was murdered by her Borg-infected ensign. So I hope we get a confirmation of her fate, whether she actually lived or died, because I would suck if they'd bring her back just to kill her off so quickly. But uh, wow, what an episode this was. Oh my God. And then Data with the comedic relief saying, I hope we die quickly. When Jordy asked him to be more optimistic or positive, that was hilarious. Brent Spiner delivered in the way that Brent Spiner can only deliver as Data. So this was a great episode. Answers were finally revealed. You know, relationships were revealed in terms of the alliance between the Borg and the Changelings. Their plan, for the most part, was revealed. And now that their plan is in action, now it's up to the crew of the Enterprise, which also made a great return in this episode of the Enterprise-D, to finally go up against their enemy and save Earth, or at least save the Federation. How the hell are they going to do that in one ship? I don't know. I sure hope they get some help from the Klingons and possibly the Romulans because that would be pretty dope. Anyway, great episode. I cannot believe the next one is the season and series finale. This is it. This is the last. Well, we probably thought this was the last we were going to see the Next Generation crew all those years ago when Next Generation had its series finale. But things could change, and who knows, maybe they're all truly done playing these characters at this point. I don't know. I just know that this is the end of Picard, both with the season and the series. So uh, hopefully it goes out with a bang. I, the way this episode ended, it certainly looks that way that it's going to. And I hope they give satisfying conclusions to all the surviving characters as well. These guys deserve peace and happiness. They've been through so much shit that they should at least get that. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. It was really, really good. And I cannot wait for the series finale next week. Have a wonderful rest of your night if I don't see you. The, th the season three and series finale, excuse me, for Picard drops next Wednesday. Excuse me. Excuse me. Next Thursday on Paramount+. Plus. Don't miss it. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. Thanks again for watching. And, of course, until next time. Live long and prosper.